Hey everyone, I've just gotten home from work and I just wanted to say hi and do a little bit of a post. I hope you've been having a good week. Uh, and also, I got a package. Hooray! It's always exciting to come home to a, a package or a little parcel. Um, and it's just a little, 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 little um, thing that I picked up from Crush Cosmetics. And yes, I ripped open the packet as soon as I'm I got it so I'll share that with you in a moment but basically I just thought every now and again I'll just do a little bit of a post it doesn't have to be like look what I've I've bought or what drugstore makeup I've just bought or high-end makeup I've bought just a little bit of a post just to um, tell you what I've tried really over the last um, week yeah so and then hopefully you can leave some feedback some comments anything else you'd like to see in more detail anything you'd like to know please leave a comment below uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so basically what i have tried this week is a few things i picked up over the weekend i've just been basically doing long 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 hours at work so basically by the time i get home I'm pretty bedraggled, so I kind of need products that sort of stay on all day. But I do actually use a lot of drugstore makeup, if you haven't already learned from my little rambles and ha hauls. But I did try. The last haul I mentioned, I picked up the Sports Girl Nail It Polish and Baby Elephant. And also the Poopa Bronzer. Now, I was trying to resist trying them. That did not last. So I tried them. So basically this one cute name baby elephant but I applied it yesterday one coat basically did the nails I was very impressed it's a nice light gray with a silver shimmer to it now I didn't last before putting something over the top so this morning I put on a frost so I love frosts I think they're really versatile um, you can mix them over the top of matte colors over cream colors you can wear them on their own sometimes it's a little bit hard because they do show up some of the imperfections in the nail but Got all that shimmer in it that kind of distracts actually rather than um, accentuates I think anyway but over the top I put my favorite frost which is the OPI nail lacquer in Yokohama Twilight pretty sure I've mentioned this before because I love it but it is a nice lavender color with a, a greeny shimmer undertone or translucent sort of thing so it's given it a nice effect and I think this will actually go really really well because it applies nicely I found it dried nicely although I also did use my OPI rapid dry spray love that I've mentioned it I think about a million times before I love it OPI rapid dry spray try it but yeah very happy with this color it's neutral enough I can wear it under a lot of um, frost that I have so happy I picked that up back to the Pupa bronzer that I picked up. Now I was supposed to hold off on using this because I do have some other, only a couple of shimmer ones because I love my matte bronzers but that didn't work because it's so unlike other bronzers I have. I normally wear my Sugar Baby or anything that's matte. At the moment this is my favorite matte, matte one which I've shown before. Just a plain medium matte bronze. But this won't show up on camera but I'm going to show it anyway. It's got a beautiful goldy undertone. It's number two. But I just love the effect. It's so cute how it looks like rippled sand. I mean, sucker for packaging, definitely. But what I do is I basically wear my matte bronzer, any areas that I want to obviously um, tan up, and I apply them up with my body brush. Apply that over the areas. And then anywhere I want to highlight, um, I use my fan brush. Which is perfect. I love the the big, the big um, compacts. So they just whoosh, can highlight. So brown bone, for example, um, down the front of the leg, just so it kind of highlights the front of the leg and and hopefully makes it look thinner. I don't know, but that's what I believe. So very very happy with that too. And then it was half price. And because it was half price, I went back and picked something else up. I love um, rosy colored lip liners because most of my lipsticks and lip glosses are rosy colors, pinks and that. So I got this. It is a number two True Lips. Now it is just a beautiful rosy color. It's so, so much like all the other colors that I have. But it's just a really beautiful um, consistency. It's slightly creamy and you can really smudge it. But it actually stayed. So I've, I've got this on at the moment. And then I colored my lips a little bit. Over the top of that, I put something that I've also just tried. I've 
I pick up little lip stips and lip glosses when they're on special wear if I go like if they're discontinued, um, if they're just cheapies. This is just a Maybelline one. I stupidly ripped off the packaging but I'm pretty sure it was a Maybelline Jewel Shine and it's in number 210. But I don't know what the shade, what the color is called but I picked this up and it's practically identical to the color. Just a dark glossy color though, of course. And yeah, it's just really cute. It's got this little plastic applicator. I've never seen anything that's just plastic rather than the spongy thing and you just twist it up. Now, I love the colour. I love the way it feels. It's it's really nice. It's not sticky. It's not gluggy. Stays on. Nice colour. But once I click it, and I only click once, do a little bit of an application, it just keeps on coming. I don't know if you can see that. It just keeps coming. So I can see I'll probably get a fair amount of wastage from that because I can't get all of the gloss onto my lips um, in one. It's just from one little twist. I try to do a little mini twist. It doesn't work, but I'm still happy it was cheap. Even if I had to click it in to that. So that's another thing I tried. And also I picked up over the weekend this little LA Colors um, eyeshadows. I've never tried LA Colors before. I know they're slightly cheap and I've seen them sort of around, but I thought... The blues were so pretty that I had to try them. I mean, I love my MAC um, eyeshadows. I love my MAC ones, but a couple of bucks, hey, I thought I'd give this a go. It had so many different shades in the greys. I've actually wore it today, and it's most likely mostly come off. But believe me, I do have them on. I'm actually fairly happy. I didn't have too much fallout, um, and it is fairly pigmented. Like, I've got the dark grey and the blue. So I'm sure you've seen reviews on LA Colors before, but I was actually impressed. So something I keep when I want to play around with different colors um, and that, you know, just for something different. Now to the star attraction, my Crush Cosmetics order. I have watched so many reviews on YouTube about Milani and NYX. And forever and a day I've wanted the NYX jumbo pencils and I wanted to try the Milani lip glosses and the Milani bronzers. And I keep come up. I've looked in stores, I've looked around direct stores, warehouses online to try and find somewhere in Australia that actually sells it. Couldn't find it. There is one place that I found, um, but it's only open Monday to Friday during my work hours. Um, a fair distance away from me, so I'll, I'll see if I can make it there. Maybe one day when I go on holiday again. But in the meantime, I picked up a NYX Jumbo Pencil. Hooray, finally. Eyeshadow pencil in Cottage Cheese number 608. I know these aren't news to anybody, but I haven't tried them, so it's news to me. And a Milani lip gloss in Baby Love in number 17. And it's so cute. It's like a, a dark candy floss pink with these rainbow glittery specks in them, like the little um, shimmer. It's so pretty. It's so bright. I love how cute and compact it is to um, carry around because I'm addicted to lip glosses so I'm very happy with that look forward to trying it and obviously if I like it I'll get a lot more so I'll make my order worthwhile next time um, so we'll see because I know I mean I know they're basically a drugstore brands but I'm really happy that I that I picked them up finally and I'm, yay even if I have to go a fair while to get them but what impressed me from Crush Cosmetics is that I got a freebie, not just a sample, I got a free nail colour. It's the Ultra 3 Nail Colour in Watermelon. And it's such a cute, corally pink colour. I've never tried anything this bright. So I'll let you know how I go with that one, because I love nail polishes. So that'll be a nice summer colour for me, I think. And really, I think that's enough um, rambling. I'm waiting on a package from um, 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 Crazy Rumors, the organic lip balms. I saw a review by Pinky Charm. She's so cool. But I watched a, so funny, I watched a review about the Crazy Rumors, um, and I thought, how oh, cool. Couldn't find anywhere in Australia that supply them, as far as I could find. So I had to order them from overseas. So I'll let you know when I get that. Um, and I'm working on a little kabuki brush, the Audrey Kabuki collectible kabuki from sigma running out of time and some max stuff and benefit stuff so when i get those i'll do another little rambling post take care, everyone don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment thank you